Hi, this is Nathan Batty with ChristianResearcher.com. Today I want to share a book with you that I read recently and I found very helpful and I'd like you to consider as well. The book is called, What's Wrong with Same-Sex Marriage? Ever since the Supreme Court passed a law legalizing same-sex marriage in all 50 states, this topic has been very hot in all media outlets. Now, recently I went down to the barber shop to get a haircut and my barber asked me, Nathan, um, what's the Bible say about same-sex marriage? Isn't homosexuality wrong? Isn't it a sin in the Bible? Uh, how is it that what Caitlyn Jenner has done is okay in our society? And these are very common questions that people are asking. Everybody's asking these questions right now. And Christians most especially need to have a prepared answer for when this question comes up and it will come up. May we prepare to give a hope, an answer of the hope that lies within us. One of the things this book does very well is introducing its readers to the true issues that are at stake. Same-sex marriage is not about equality. It's about the destruction of marriage as we know it, natural marriage, God's marriage. It's about the destruction of the family as we know it. And it is about the destruction of the negative stigma that is attached to homosexuality. Homosexuals want to be viewed as equal. They want to be viewed as uh, practicing something that is natural, that it should be accepted by our society. And what the government is trying to do right now is to force upon Christians the idea that same-sex marriage is just as normal and just as natural and just as equal and valid as natural marriage as was appointed by God. Such just simply is not the case. The book gives 12 reasons why we as Christians should be opposed to same-sex marriage. This will help equip uh, Christians with a good, intelligent conversation or discussion to have with people about the issue. One of the other things that this book does very well, I believe, is it discusses the topic of tolerance. One of the things the homosexual community is raging about right now is that Christians are not tolerating them, when in fact the shoe is really on the other foot. Homosexuals do not want to tolerate Christians. Homosexuals are free to practice whatever they want to. No one is denying them the right to practice and to live as they want to. What we are opposing is the idea that they can force upon Christians, the idea that Christians must accept, not just tolerate, but accept same-sex marriage and homosexuality as a natural and a permissible thing. Homosexuality is wrong in the Bible. In 1 Corinthians chapter 6, Paul notes that some of the Christians at Corinth used to be homosexuals, adulterers, fornicators, idolaters. They were all types of evil people, but they changed whenever they obeyed the gospel. And that's what the gospel requires. It requires repentance, a change of mind that results in a change of action. As Christians, we need to preach the gospel. We need to be able to offer help to people that are dying in sin. Homosexuality has many consequences with it. It has many physical consequences. This book goes into great detail and almost a shocking way of describing the harmful physical effects that uh, homosexuality has on its participants. If we love people, we should not allow them to keep going down a path of destruction. Homosexuality also has great psychological consequences to it. This book goes into great discussion about the psychological consequences and the mental anguish and grief that practicing homosexuals have and deal with. It also has great spiritual ramifications, and this book addresses that issue as well, and the one that we need to be most concerned about and be able to reach out to people and give them a hope out. Uh, this book is a wonderful read. It's not very long. It's not complicated or difficult, but gives you a clear insight into what is truly at stake in this debate that's raging right now. I'd encourage you to go by our bookstore and pick up a copy. Uh, it's a small book, but it's only $5. Brand new copies for only $5. And what we're doing is going through a program right now called the Get One, Give One. If you will pick up one copy for $5, we will send you an additional copy that you can share with a friend or family member. I believe this is a great tool right now, especially in light of the recent uh, judgment that was passed by the U.S. Supreme Court. It's a good tool to open up doors of opportunity to start those conversations that we need to have with our neighbors to introduce them to the truth of the Bible and the gospel. This may not be about baptism. It may not be about salvation, but it is about a, an important moral issue that will get our foot in the door and start talking to them about the Bible in which we can curtail and lead them to the topic of salvation. This is a vitally important topic right now. Get a copy. Read it. 
get equipped, and share it with others. Start having the conversation that people are wanting to have right now and have it from the perspective of what the Bible truly teaches on the issue. Again, go buy our bookstore, pick it up for $5, and receive an additional copy to hand out to someone else. You can find this at www.christianresearcher.com. Thank you and have a wonderful day.